Okay, so this is my soon assembly video. So to start off, I have my double read right over here. It's sitting in just a little bit of water. Um, so I have it in a pill bottle. And about this much of it down is just submerged in water, getting soaked and getting ready. So while I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go and get my thing together. So I'm gonna grab the seat strap, hold our thing, and I'm just gonna sit it on the seat. And that works for right about there for me. And then I'm gonna grab the boot of it, and it's got this spot, like it's got the little thing at the bottom, and it's just, you know, yeah, it's a boot. Um, it's probably about the heaviest piece. Next, I'm going to grab the base joint. So, I'm going to take it, put that between your legs. And you know the top is the top because the top is just a little bit thicker diameter wise. The bottom's a little bit smaller, and also this bottom part has this metal piece where the top does it. So, I'm just going to slide that in. And then these back rods are going to, you know, those are going to be the back. You know, those to go down straight. Okay, so I'm going to kind of just hold it right there. Then I'm going to grab the tenor joint. And this one, you can kind of just see how it fits against it. It's got this curve to it. Also, you know that this whisper, like this will cover the whisper key. So... The top part for this one is just got a metal part and this one's still at work. So I'm just going to put it in and then right here on the base joint there's a little latch and it's going to connect right here to the tenor. So you want to go ahead and pull that up. You want to be careful. Careful not to push down on the rod too, too much. And like I said, you just want to pull this latch up and then just slide it in place. There you go. Alrighty, then you're going to grab the bell. And then, you know, this is the top because it's got the bell ring. And like the same thing, like all of our other instruments, you just want to make sure this is facing the back. And it's going to slide right over. These are going to kind of just, the one on the bell is just going to cover the one on the base joint. And they just line up. Like I said, you just want to make sure that's straight. Then you're going to get the crook out. And you know it's the crook because it kind of just looks like a hook. And then that is going to go right here. Just going to put it in. And what you want to make sure is that when you hit your whisper key, that that little spout, that little spot, is getting covered by the pad, so you kind of want to just check it. Yeah, and that's good. Alrighty, then it's time for your mouthpiece. And you want to, or not your mouthpiece, so sorry, your double read. And you really want to make sure that you're not getting any of this wet because then you basically are just ruining the thing. So, I'm just going to put that on. Then you're going to lift it and you're going to put it in your little strap. The little holder so this part goes right on the base and you can kind of adjust from there so for me this is pretty good and I'm just going to turn my read or I'm not having to turn my head one way or another but actually so you can just adjust this where you need it like out from your body so then for how you're going to hold it it's very much similar to a clarinet and a saxophone so it's one two three on these holes you have your thumb in the back and then your pinky is going to control these keys right here. 
And then for the bottom, I'm going to cover the two holes. This finger is going to cover this key and then these keys. And then your thumb also holds keys back there. So how you would make a sound on this is you cover your top teeth and your bottom teeth with your lips and then you just put it over about halfway to a third on like just this wooden part without the thread and the gold tie for this one. And you just kind of press down you don't bite with your teeth since you have your lips covering it and you just kind of clear it out. So to put this away, you want to have this airing out. So I have holes in my, I keep it a pill bottle, and I have holes in it so it'll ventilate. So you let that dry. And you're going to start with taking the cork out. And then in my case, it has like a little slot for it. And just cover that, and then I just kind of latch it in place so it doesn't move. And with kids, they probably won't start off on this instrument, but... If they do, eh. either way, you want to have them take a picture of it, just because it can get a little complicated. So, we work the opposite way, the reeds are already off, cooks are off, now we're going to take the bell off. So, just carefully twist her off. And then when it goes in the case, it's like all the keys are facing up, which is how I remember it. So you want to go ahead and take your tenna off, just so you can unlatch it. You just got to be careful about it. It's easier to hold from the top because you're not holding as many rods, I think. And you can kind of tell when you put it in here the first time or two that they lay together like they do, like you're putting them together. It's very interesting. Alright, then I'm going to take the base off, the base one off. So the butt just goes back in here. Or sorry, the big one butt. just keep my read in there actually. So I don't have a cleaning thing in here for this one but what you do is you just start from the bottom or sorry start from the top bring it down and you don't do that when you're cleaning it out but I don't have that so I can't show that to you. But that is it. Thank you.